Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. You may have noticed that lately we've been putting a lot of time and energy into GPS modules. That's right, we love our GPS modules here at Spark Fun. But they're great. They can tell you where you are. They can tell you where you've been. Tell you where you need to go. They can even tell you the time with atomic accuracy. They are sweet. With the following exceptions. Driving through a tunnel, trekking through the slot canyons of the American Southwest, or walking through the towering buildings of Gotham City. In situations like those, when you're blocked either completely or even partially from any of the satellite systems whizzing by overhead, you're just out of luck, right? Wrong. Not anymore, thanks to the new SparkFun GPS Dead Reckoning Breakout. Back in my day, we navigated the American West using the sun, a compass, and dead reckoning. I like this. Judd, I reckon we are in Oklahoma by now. Judd? Poor Judd is dead. Probably dysentery. This board uses the U-Blocks Neo M8U module, a 72-channel M8 engine GNSS receiver, so it can pick up signals from all four of the major constellations, GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, and Beto, all with about 2.5 meter horizontal accuracy. Like other recent U-Blox modules, this one has a max altitude of 50,000 meters, a max velocity of 500 meters per second with a velocity accuracy of 0.5 meters per second, and a max G rating of just under 4 Gs, or about 3.5 times what you'd feel in a Bugatti Veyron Supersport doing 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. But unlike previous modules, the NEO M8U introduces U-Blox's untethered dead reckoning technology. The strength of UDR is particularly apparent under poor signal conditions or even during complete signal loss, for example in parking garages and short tunnels. This is accomplished in part by utilizing the module's onboard accelerometer and gyroscope. It offers a heading accuracy of 1 degree and a time pulse accuracy of 30 nanoseconds with a refresh rate of up to 30 Hz. It operates at 3.3 volts with matching logic level and draws about 29 milliamps in continuous tracking mode. Its time to first fix is 26 seconds cold and only about a second and a half hot. It's extremely software configurable and supports NMEA, UBX, and RTCM protocols over UART or I2C. Of course, the latter makes it perfect for our quick system, so we've given the board a pair of quick connectors for easy hookup. It has an onboard rechargeable battery to help reduce lock time, there are pinouts at the standard 2.53 millimeters, and a U.FL connector for an antenna. This module is really designed for automotive use, and our hookup guide walks you through the setup, plus important factors like body frame and local level frame, as well as how to mount it in a vehicle. And since all of our U-Block boards use the same Arduino library, you may already have that installed. Now this board does need to be calibrated, and that will require driving around with it. Since we're currently at a stay-at-home order here, I'm not going to do that just yet. But with the strength, accuracy, and consistency of the other U-Block modules, I'm really looking forward to getting out and taking the SparkFun GPS Dead Reckoning breakout for a test drive and seeing what it can really do. Pick up yours over at SparkFun.com, and happy hacking! Hookup guide walks you through the setup. Don't do that to me. Now this board does need to be calibrated. There's a lot of words in a row. Dang it. And that requires driving around. Uh, so close. Don't remember what I said. But I don't think it was right. This board is really... Module. This module is really designed... Am I even recording? 